Hello, for those who may not know me, my name is Steve Gartner, and I have been the principal at St. Paul for almost 10 years now. Through these years, I have always been amazed at how the Lord continues to shower his blessings on this church and school. This year, we have more students in the building than we've ever had before. 193 of those students are in grades K-8, to and another 58 are in our preschool and daycare. You remember last summer that in order to accommodate the large kindergarten class of 35 students, we had to knock out a wall between two smaller classrooms to make a second kindergarten classroom large enough for the incoming students. The projection for next year's kindergarten class looks to be on pace between 22 and 30 students. Our kindergarten roundup this next week will give us a better grasp on that number. To illustrate how much the Lord is blessing the school, I took our enrollment numbers back six years. In the past six years alone, we've enrolled 93 new students from 55 new families that were not previously part of our St. Paul family. That's 55 new families, not counting called worker families. And if we break that number down even further, 75% of those families were not members of a Wells or ELS church when they started sending their child to St. Paul. What opportunities and blessings the Lord is dropping in our laps to teach these families about God's word and the way to heaven. I have a saying that I often tell families that are looking to enroll their child. I tell them that we look to enroll families at St. Paul and not just students. And as I look around the church each weekend and see the many new families worshiping together, that's exactly what we are doing. But with those blessings also come challenges. First, with the larger class sizes, we may need more teachers. This past year, we had to call a second kindergarten teacher for the expectation of those 35 students. We also know that as we are continuing, we may need to call those extra teachers as the years go on. This past year, we called a second kindergarten teacher with the expectation that this teacher would follow that class for several years to come. And in the future, with the growing enrollment, we may need to call more teachers like this. Wouldn't it be great in the future if each class needed two teachers? Unfortunately, we are now out of extra spaces to create new classrooms. We don't know what the Lord has in store for us in the future, but what we do know is if he continues to bless us, we are running out of extra classroom space. So doing nothing is really not an option. Jesus once said through the Apostle John, as long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. What the Lord has in store for us in the future at St. Paul, no one truly knows. But what I do know is that exciting times at St. Paul are in store for us. And I for one am very excited to see where he will lead us in the years to come. It is only through the grace of God and through you continuing to spread the word about St. Paul and what we have to offer that our ministry continues to grow. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to stop me after church, email me, or give me a call, or even stop by my office for a chat. I would be more than happy to discuss the future of St. Paul with you. God's blessings through this new year.